you know, I flew here. How come the first class people just, they can just get on whenever they want? I've always hated that. First class people board at your leisure. Take your time, first class people. Mm. <laughs> Coach people, no, wait, sit, sit, scuzz. Wait, little piggies. <laughs> so when you do get on, the first class people, they're already sitting there. They're all sprawled out in their big thrones. Bring me the head of a pig. <laughs> and a goblet of something cool and refreshing. <laughs> Anyone have a fiddle? Make someone from Coach fiddle for me. <laughs> Amuse me. They have fiddles in the overhead racks up there. You're not allowed to even use their bathrooms. The bathrooms up front are for our first class passengers. The coach bathrooms are located at Newark Airport. <laughs> Concourse C. Concourse C, ladies and gentlemen. So when you do board, the first class people, they're sitting there. A lot of them are working as you're boarding. They have computers out and calculators. They're looking up at you like, hey, we're making money right now. <laughs> Right now we're making money. Go, get in the back. Close that curtain, I don't want to see it. Even in my peripheral. Ah. Snap it, snap it shut. What's the matter with us? They gotta cover us up with a tarp. When you go in the back, everybody has coloring books on. <laughs> Where was you at? You're in the middle, and there's nine of us, and you're in the middle, and we have all the armrests, so you gotta sit like this. You gotta figure out a way to eat your snack while your elbows are touching. You gotta learn how to twist your little plastic utensil. I like to sit way in the back, way in the back. Except for one thing, all the good meals run out, you know. You're poking your head out from row 199. The flight attendants are this big. You can hear the good meals getting snagged. We have a turkey sandwich, a chicken quesadilla, and a cold fish head. I'm just... Oh. I wonder what I'm going to get. <laughs> so when they get to the back of the plane, they have to do that flight attendant psychology game and pretend like the good stuff never even existed. It, it, it never even was. Would you like a nice cold fish head? They're frozen solid, frozen head of fish. The eyeball's in there and the skeleton's coming out. It comes with a turnip and a spork. I was wishing you'd have one of them left. Wishing upon a star. But I admire flight attendants, man. I really do. They put up with a lot of garbage from people. Have you ever been sitting in your seat? and you see somebody trying to fit something in the overhead rack that you know ain't going in there like in a million years. You have like a mattress and a lamp. <laughs> You're looking at him like, what kind of perception problems does this guy have? <laughs> and the flight attendants are always nice. They always run up and act like it might maybe fit. You know, oh, I don't know if that's going to get up there. <laughs> we can check it for you, you moron. I know that's what they want to say. I would last about eight seconds at that job. I'll just get up there. Does that look like it's going to fit? You have this much room, you have a dead yak. Are you okay? You don't see all these people jammed up waiting on you? You, you don't see any of that. Is it? Oh, this is your world. It's all about you. You let 
us know when you're all set, Captain You Planet. <laughs> and I feel bad for the gate agents because they try to get the boarding process to run smoothly, but no one will listen to them. Don't blame them. They try, they get on the intercom. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to begin boarding. If we could ask for your cooperation, would you all please remain seated until your row has been called? Everyone, please, please remain seated. Everyone, please back away from the gate. Please back away from the gate. Somehow, by the time that comes out the speakers, it must sound like, everybody up and rush the door. <laughs> Everyone, immediately try to squish your fat butts simultaneously in the small gate door area. Hurry. Push and shove, everyone. Push and shove. Do whatever you have to to get on board. This is the last helicopter out of Vietnam. I'm embarrassed to be human. I want to get on! You're going to get on. I want to get on before everybody Why? <laughs> Human beings, man. I'm sure you've been at airports with the moving sidewalks. Right? You know the whole stand right, walk left concept? Well, for some people, unlearnable. <laughs> You ain't getting it in, no matter how much stimuli you offer. I've been on them where I don't understand how people don't see that that's the system. There's a big yellow dotted line going down the middle, and it's stenciled every three feet on the sidewalk. Stand, 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 walk, 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 walk. On the handrail, stand, stand, walk, walk. Up here, stand, walk. Pictures of people standing, walking, and I've seen footprints together in a park. And you still have people riding that left handrail. It's fun to fly. <laughs> Watch them close, because they're the ones at the end of the moving sidewalk. <laughs> Something changed. Something changed.